In this video, we're going to combine everything that we've learnt before to add Facebook and Twitter links to the home page of our website. So first of all, we need to upload the actual logo images we want to use. So we'll pop into the file manager, click on images since we're uploading images today, and we'll upload a couple of files. So we'll upload the Facebook logo and also the Twitter logo. You can upload multiple images at the same time. Just hit OK, and again it might take a couple of seconds to upload these two images, and there we go. So now that those are uploaded, we'll pop into our home page and we should be able to start adding these images in here. So again, just click on that small image icon to add an image, browse around for it, and there's our Facebook logo. So we'll just insert that one, and there's a bit of a problem, it's a bit too big. So we'll just edit those image attributes. So we'll go into appearance, we'll change the first dimension to say about 50. The second one should update itself automatically. There we go. And that's much, much better. So we'll do the same thing with the Twitter logo. So again, we'll just add that one in there. Scroll down to find our Twitter logo. There it is. So we'll just upload this one. This one's probably going to be a bit too big as well. Yep. So we'll change that over to 50 by 50 as well. Now that we've got these images uploaded, we just need to add the links to them. Um, before we can link them, we need to know where we're linking to. So the Facebook link, we'll link it to our Sites and Stores Facebook page. So we'll just copy this one and add it to the actual link. Make sure you've clicked on the image before you put the link in there. There we go. So we'll just insert that one. We'll do the same thing for Twitter. So we'll grab the actual link we want to link it to, copy that, select the image, and click on that chain to link it. So we'll put our Twitter link in there and hit Insert. And that's it. So we'll just hit Submit. And we'll check out the website now. Just refresh the website to see what we've changed. And there we go. There's our Facebook and Twitter links. So we'll click on the Twitter page. And there we are. We're at the Sites and Stores Twitter page.